Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Deluxe Thunder Source Megazord from Power Rangers Dino Thunder as part of my retro review series. Now we'll just see how many times I accidentally say Dino Charge. It seems like whenever I talk about one, I, I say the opposite name. I was talking about Dino Charge the other day and I kept saying Dino Thunder, so we'll see. But anyway, there's a slight chance I may have reviewed this and the Dino Stegazord before, but I'm revisiting them as part of my retro reviews. Um, I've done that with a few other things. Um, the only reason I'm doing it is partially because I wanted to and partially because I got several messages about these uh, in particular, so I figured, why not? But that's the backstory of that. How, how about you guys? How are you doing? Oh, that's good to hear. I just did like a preschool, like, wait for the kids to talk thing. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm less than a minute in and I'm already weird. Let's just go ahead and get started. We'll get started with the pterosaur because I said so. So obviously the smallest of the three based on a pterodactyl. Um, as you can see here, um, I don't know where I was going to go with that. I didn't even have anything past as you can see here. I just started a sentence and know where it was going. But um, I guess, as you can see here, there's uh, the feet here are actually going to be the helmet, so there's that, like her front uh, of the whole thing is going to be on the front, um, and then this is going to be the uh, helmet. And I have to say, I really do dig the Dino Thunder uh, Zord designs, I think they're really neat, I think that the toys do a really good job representing them, uh, they have really nice colors to them, nice paint, uh, good little details here, I really like how the silver, I think the camera picks it up pretty well, kind of almost has a shine to it, um, it's just overall pretty good looking, like, I don't have any too many problems with it, uh, you can flap the wings, you can move these, partly as part of the transformation, but still, uh, you can move the little feet around. Um, it's just, I think they're pretty nice looking. Like I said, I like the designs and I think that the toy does a good job of capturing uh, their look. I also just fairly recently watched Opera Rangers, so I'm kind of uh, excited, not excited by these, but um, in the mood, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm getting weird, I'm in the mood for these dinosaurs, and then I do that, it's weird. Uh, here's a Triceratosaurus, which I also think I also think has a lisp. Um, it's not proven, no, but I also think uh, looks pretty cool. I really dig the de design of the Triceratosaurus. There's something about the way that his uh, his head design is. It just looks really cool. It's a, it's a neat head sculpt. Uh, I just think it's a really cool looking uh, dinosaur. And then you got the sort of chrome finish here on the side. This is uh, back in the days when we used essentially the Japanese mold. I don't know all of the... I'm sure there's tiny differences, but uh, there's not like a whole lot to write home about. Um, he features stuff such as opening the mouth so we can go like... or however the opera ranger noises went. Um, so yeah, fun fact, they actually had an episode where he became, I think it was a kid in Opera Ranger, because the, the Zords were characters in that show, like, kudos to Dino Thunder for essentially hiding the whole fact that the Zords were sentient in Opera Ranger. Alright, and then we have the Tyrannozord, which is the largest of the bunch, which also is, uh, pretty cool looking in terms of design. His is the most... Uh, I guess, for lack of a better word, kibbly in terms of you can see certain parts of the transformation, but still it's a pretty cool looking Zord. The paint details on him are pretty well done. I really also dig his his head sculpt. I really uh, dig the, the designs they have here for these. Um, pretty cool looking. Uh, you can move his legs a little bit. I don't want to mess around with it too much, but you can bend him and move him around so you can get him in some sort of different kind of walking poses, and you can also move his little T-Rex hands here. Uh, so that's kind of fun. Um, and then obviously, which is also going to be a feature of the Megazord mode, there's a little switch up here, and he's got tail drilling action. Look out, Pterosaur! That was weird. But yeah, so you can do that. So that's, that's a neat little feature. Alright, so transformation-wise, uh, this guy's really easy to transform. It's very, very simple. Um, we're just going to just do a bunch of things with the legs. I'll just straighten them out first. Um, and then pull these little panels down here. Don't pull the whole leg off like I just did. I don't know my own strength. Uh, but pull these panels down. And then this top part here will fold around. And then just kind of... I might regret doing this first later, we'll see. But then just kind of fold them down here. And they'll, they'll latch back onto the bottom of the feet. Like that. Uh, same thing here. Pull the panel off. This little thing goes that way. And snap it down there. Um, and then fold his little T-Rex arms up. And then this is going to... You're going to kind of just do a bunch of twisting. This is going to come down and around. And you're going to want to twist this like that. So that this little... There's like a little peg place that's going to be sticking out. And snap it in. You just kind of twist it around. It's pretty self-explanatory once you start taking it apart. Um, and there you have it there, ready to stand. Ready to stand, falls over. Good job, me. Okay, there we go. Just take some finagling. Alright, so then this is also really simple. Just take the T-Rex head and like bend it up like that and shoop, it shifts around really easy. Twist it down and then there's like a little sliding mechanism here. Just slide it back. That'll pop out uh, because it says so and it'll snap into there. And then that was a spoiler alert, but you pull that here and there's a little helmet. 
and slide that in there. Snip, there's the head. This will obviously get pushed down, and poor Terra got attacked twice. Uh, Triceras is really easy. All you're really going to do is hold its feet up. And then there's a little uh, peg hole there. Snap it on. Uh, Terra's is also very easy. Just take off this little bottom piece, and then fold her wings in here. And fold her little head down, and then she's going to kind of uh, clamp around into here. So there's little pegs up here for her wings to place. And that's pretty good. And then I'm gonna pan up a little bit. He's got such a tiny little head. Let's zoom in for that. We can do that now. Sometimes I forget I have this power. And then these are gonna go up. These are gonna go up. I don't know why I said that like I'm doing a drunk test. And boom, helmet. And there you have the Dino Thunder Megazord. Uh, I really dig it. Like I mentioned multiple times already, I do dig the Dino Thunder Zords, uh, the Abba Ranger Mecha, um, on their own, and I really do like a lot of their Megazords. I think this is a pretty cool look. Uh, I dig it. I think it's kind of unique. Um, you know, there's a long history of a very uniform looking robots, and I like that this one's unique in that it has a drill arm, and it doesn't really have a proper uh, a fist um, in a lot of ways for uh, the Tricera move that down. I, I just really dig the way it looks. Um, Toy-wise, I think that this holds up very well. I think that, uh, like I said, the colors look really good. Um, it's just got good details. It, just, it represents it very well. It doesn't really have too many proportion issues in the body. My only real issue is with the head. Um, it's very small, uh, like, and then the helmet kind of overshadows it, and then you have this piece around here, so it really makes the head seem a lot smaller than it should be. So I think that's my only real issue with it look wise is I wish they would have just scaled up things around here just a little bit like I know it's not a very large head on the Megazord but just enough so that you could see his face without it being overshadowed and the head not seeming so tiny compared to the rest of the body but other than that I still think it's a pretty good looking Megazord um, obviously the uh, drill feature still works here and it will extend to over here. They have uh, on the other peg, there's a mechanism. So if you put like another auxiliary zord that involves a gimmick on there, they will they will both work. So like, you know, if you get the Ankyla zord for double drilling. Um, so the, the other thing I'm going to show is that you can take this piece off here to reveal an actual proper Megazord fist. And you can do that for super spinning punching action. Um, and then take this top piece off. And uh, there's a little piece here. Fold that around, it's going to be a handle, and uh, snap them together, and uh, you take Tricera's head off, and then fold this out for a proper fist. That sounded really, really bad if you have a dirty mind like me. So then you have sort of a cone sword, and then pull this out, and you get a shield. So then you can kind of have the proper formation. I think they used that a couple times in this show, but like, on average, it's a pretty normal or different looking Megazord, but you do have that so that you can uh, do more of a normal formation with a sword and shield and actual Megazord fists, so that's a thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this. Overall, with the exception of the head being a little bit too small, I really do dig this Megazord. And if you're a fan of Dino Thunder or Abba Ranger, I can definitely recommend checking it out. I think it's a really neat Megazord. The transformation's fun and simple. Uh, the drill feature is really cool, especially when you uh, get other auxiliary Zords. And it just makes a really nice shelf piece for Dino Thunder and Abba Ranger collections. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.